The duck unit kind of encompasses everything that first grade needs to know about life sciences. We talk about the development of the embryo and um, kind of they, the children get a chance to see from the start with the egg and go through the incubator and we candle the eggs and watch the growth and development of the duck to where it hatches at the end and then we talk about what it needs to survive and release them back into the wild. So it's kind of a nice complete overview of the life cycle process. We got to see them swim, we got to hold them and their webbed feet feel like rubber. We took the ducks outside probably two times. At the end of the unit have ducks, duck overnights, so the kids get to take home us. We practice holding the ducks and feeding the ducks and taking care of them, and then they get to take the ducks home for a night. In addition to the life science, it's responsibility. It's uh, we've talked about kind of taking ownership of the fact that they are respond that they're the ones who are ultimately responsible for the ducklings and their safety. Not only were we fortunate enough to be able to hatch the ducks in our incubator and watch the development and the growth of them, we were privileged this year to be be the recipients of a grant from the foundation which allowed us to be able to hatch a shark egg in our room as well. What do sharks have? Oh. Anybody know? Fins. fins. Yeah, they've got fins. When we first had Underwater World come out to deliver the shark egg, we were able to look inside and actually see the growth and development of the shark egg. In addition to that, they also had the opportunity to have a touch tank here, so they got a chance to see a lot of the animals up close that they might otherwise never see. So we set up uh, a touch tank where we have three different types of sea stars. We've got a sea cucumber and three sea anemones, uh, and they can all touch those and uh, look at them. So this guy here, he's got all these little suction cup legs on the bottom, and that's how he moves around. So here we have um, two coral cat shark egg cases. Right now, all you can see is a little ball in there. That's the yolk sac, and after a while, an embryo will develop that's attached to the yolk sac, and they'll be able to see the shark moving around and develop. He could come out and survive on his own from the first day, which was a nice comparison contrast to the ducks, Whereas they needed to kind of be the caretakers of the ducks and oversee the ducks, the fact that the shark, from the moment that it hatches in the ocean, is on its own and surviving on its own was a nice contrast for them to be able to see. And it was absolutely one of the highlights of my teaching career.